My name is Steve Adams. I did have, as of uh, today, two children in the district. One year ago, I had my first taste of just what a crap show the Central Kitsap School District was. When I voiced my concerns about very concerning issues facing the district and my two children, I was ignored. I was scoffed at by board directors when I spoke in front of them. I watched board members roll their eyes at me and my ideas for improving the cancerous issues that threaten this district. I've watched many parents, grandparents, and teachers of the district cry before you, pleading with you to fix the ridiculousness that pervades this district. I've watched for a year how all of you have given your consent to pornography, child pornography, to be distributed to our children. I've had a front row seat in witnessing all of you this di in this district kowtow to minority special interest groups. I've watched all of you get up out of your chairs and run from concerned citizens, not once but twice. I've watched all of you tolerate your fellow board director, Rob McDermott, display such ridiculous behavior that you had to write new district policy because of him. I've witnessed all of you break state and federal law on a weekly basis and give continual excuses when called on the carpet. I thought I'd seen it all by the time Drake Jackson was caught lying and admitted to it while giving official testimony to our state legislature about how threatening all of us are, about how we all bring weapons to school board meetings. I gave you an entire year to turn yourselves around and you couldn't do it. This community dislikes this district so bad, at least 50% of the community voted not once but twice to deny you millions of dollars in a levy. Tonight, I'm pleased to announce that you will never have the privilege of educating my children again. As of tonight, you are being notified that my family is 100% done with the Central Kitsap School District. My children will never step foot in district buildings again for academic purposes. You will never receive again the $34,000 the state gives you for both of them. You did this. You are responsible for this. Shame on you. I gave you plenty of chances. The whole community gave you chance after chance after chance, and you failed over and over again for a solid year. You are each individually and collectively responsible for failing the children, their parents, their families, and local citizens. I don't think it's possible to, 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 for this shift to be righted. That's why I'm placing my children as of tonight on a life raft that will take them away from the sinking ship. Now, I know right now some of you are probably jumping for joy inside with relief thinking that because I'm pulling my children, you won't have to deal with me or their mother anymore. Yeah. Oh, you are wrong. Yeah. We aren't going anywhere. You still spend our tax dollars and children still need to be protected from you. Think about those last eight words. Children still have to be protected from you. Thousands of the people in this community think exactly that. I'm not going anywhere. I'll see you embarrassments in two weeks. Let's go, Brandon.